Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a no knee pain glutes building workout. This is a great workout that will really help to tone, lift and sculpt your gluteal muscles without putting too much pressure on your knees. The moves that we do will also help to reduce knee pain in the long term by building up the muscles that we use to control the movement around the knee joints and really stabilize the movement of your knees. You do not need any equipment for this workout. I will talk you through each and every step. There will be a timer somewhere so that you know when we're gonna go to the next move. All you need is yourself, some enthusiasm, and I got you for the rest, okay? Okay, if you like it, give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe for more workouts with me and more general Dr. Sarah videos. <laughs> I don't know what that was, my body just kind of moved. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I would just add, as someone who has had knee surgery in the past on both my knees in the same operation, um, I know what it's like to suffer with knee pain. I know what it's like to undergo rehabilitation for your knees. And included in this workout are some staple exercises that I used a lot when recovering. I hope you like it. <laughs> Ready? We're going straight into it. So lying on your back, put your feet together, let your knees fall apart until they are comfortable width, hands by your sides and go. I want you to thrust your hips up to the ceiling, really using your glutes to contract and create the movement. Use your core to make sure that you are stable and your hands as well by your sides can also stabilize you. Um, depending on your flexibility, you might want to adjust how close your feet are to your bootie, um, just wherever you're comfortable. What I want you to really focus on in this movement is isolating the glutes, giving it a good old squeeze at the top, really activating the muscle before we get into the rest of the workout. Just a few more, you're doing really well. Keep that core nice and tight. I don't want your back to be overarched. Well done, keep going and relax for 10 seconds. Now coming straight onto our sides, we are going straight into the bent knee raise, hand out in front to stabilize and go. So on this exercise, you wanna keep again your angles together and you want to open up your legs with a bent knee, kind of opening them like a little book, <laughs> I guess, and using your arms to stabilize. I don't want you moving, you want the one hip stacked on top of the other, holding your core nice and tight. You're doing really well, keep going. Just a few more, nearly there. Really feeling that burn, opening up as wide as you can, pressing at the top and closing back up. That's really good. Just a few more. And relax for 10 seconds. Well done. Now we are going to go in with the straight leg raise, targeting the same muscle. We are burning it out. We didn't come to play and go. So keeping your leg nice and straight, you can point your toes towards the ground if you want to really target um, a little bit more of the glutes as well. Um, using that hand out in front to uh, stabilize yourself. Again, making sure that your hips don't tip back. I don't want you to let your hips tip back. Keep one stacked on top of the other. Bringing the leg all the way up. Can you feel that burn? Oh, it's a good burn, right? Bring the leg all the way up and down. Imagine that there's like a massive exercise ball beneath your feet that you're just trying to squish down. Resist, resist the pressure. Your leg's feeling mighty heavy now, but you're nearly there, doing really well and relax and then we are going to flip it onto the other side repeating those two exercises so we're going in with the bent knee raise bending those legs and go open up those knees like a book keep reading <laughs> what okay sorry that was weird and um, so just keep pressing that knee up towards the ceiling one hip on top of the other feeling the burn making sure both cheeks are even really toning the thighs and there's no knee pain this exercise is really good and i did it like my bread and butter i don't know how many times a day i did this when recovering from my knee surgery it is such a good exercise to make sure that you are really uh, building up the muscles that stabilize the knee joints when you're moving around just a few more doing really well and relax for 10 seconds then don't relax for too long because we are going in with a straight leg raise so pointing the foot towards the ground 
ready and go. Lift up that leg nice and high, controlling the movement. I only want the movement to be coming from your leg. I don't want you rocking back and forth with your upper body. Keep the torso nice and still. This is an isolated leg movement, really controlling that movement, staying nice and strong. I know that you can feel the burn using the hand out in front to stabilize you, other hand supporting the head, Make sure you get a good range of motion as well. I don't want it to be um, small. You want a big, nice range of motion, lifting that leg all the way up, feeling the burn, but powering through because you've got this. Just a few more and relax. Well done. The next exercise we're going on to is the donkey pulse. Kind of like the donkey kick, except better because we are just pulsing. So come down onto your hands and knees and let's go. So you want your hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips, core nice and tight. I want you to raise up one leg and, and just keep the pulse at the top, really targeting the glutes there in the extension of the hips. Again, no knee pain, but if you are uncomfortable on that lower knee, you can just pop a pillow underneath and that should help. Keep pulsing, really getting that intense burn in the glutes, making sure that you're not arching your back. I don't want your back moving at all. Again, this is an isolated leg movement. If you feel like you're being really tempted to arch, then just bring the leg a little bit lower and work within your range of flexibility and relax. Doing really well. And we're gonna switch onto the other leg. Ready and go. Lifting that leg up, making sure that you are controlling your lower back. See, I had to adjust there because I was a little overarch. Um, and because if you basically, if you overarch your back, you're not going to target the muscle as well as you should. And um, so we're really working on that extension at the hip joint, getting those glutes nice and fired up, as though you're trying to kind of push up a table on your foot. Stabilizing with the upper body and the hands. Holding your core tight. Squeezing at the top. Nearly there. And relax, well done. Now the next exercise I call L raise. So staying in the same position, we are going to bring one leg out to the side and go. Now the reason I like to call these L raises is because it reminds me of the position that my body needs to be in. So again, hands below shoulders, knees below hips, uh, upper body nice and neutral, keeping the core nice and tight. Your legs should be straight out to the side. Now, depending on how flexible you are, will affect how much you can get your leg out to the side. But don't be afraid to push it as far as you can go and really raise that leg up. This is so much harder than it looks because of the kind of angle that you are doing it at. But try and think in right angles, really using um, the power of your glutes and your uh, vastus lateralis to raise that leg up and relax. You can stretch it out if you want. In these 10 seconds, we are coming on to the other side. And go. Leg nice and straight, pulsing up. Try and keep your upper body as still as you can on this movement. I know it's not easy. You can see that I have to adjust at different points. Um, but you essentially want to imagine that you're carrying a very precious glass of wine on your shoulders. So keep as stable as you can in the upper body, isolating the movement in that leg, bringing it up as high as you can. Can you feel the burn yet? Does it feel like your legs weigh a bajillion tons? Doing really well. Just a few more. Keep going. Keep going and up, pulse it and relax for 10 seconds. Then we're coming into the final move, which are the classic old hip thrusts. So for this exercise, you want to be lying on your back and go. So feet firmly planted in the mat. I want you to raise your hips up, keeping your core nice and tight. Again, this is focusing on activating the glutes, getting those hamstrings working, all the muscles which work to flex and stabilize the knee with no knee pain. Really squeeze at the top, come all the way up. You can use your hands by your side to stabilize you. You can adjust your feet uh, distance from your hips to where you're comfortable. Keep going, you're nearly there. Coming towards the end of the workout, you've done really well. Just a few more. Squeeze. And relax, well done. You've completed this no knee pain 
glutes workout. This is a, a staple. I recommend that you do this regularly and often and really see how much stronger you get and how much easier you start to find it as you go. As always, I like to finish up with a few stretches, just working uh, the lower back and just really listening to my body basically and making myself feel a little bit looser after that workout. Thank you so much for exercising with me, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.